Why complete dentures in the age of foliage implants? Why? 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 The answer lies in a single phrase and that is prosthetically driven full arch implant rehabilitation. This is the main reason. If you wish to do a full arch implant treatment in your practices, you need to know the basics of fabricating a good quality complete denture. You know, for now, keep aside the functional impressions in a complete denture. Let us focus on the jaw relation, especially the vertical dimension and occlusion. You need to have well optimized maxillary and mandibular rims for establishing an optimum vertical dimension at occlusion. And then go ahead and mount those casts. Even if you're planning for a full arch rehabilitation, you would need a functional triangle for which the vertical dimension at occlusion needs to be established. Once the triangle is checked inside the patient's mouth and the form and function along with aesthetics are established, then you need to measure the amount of space which you have for your full arch implant prosthesis. Also, this will help you decide what type of prosthesis are you supposed to provide to the patient. Secondly, what if you do not have any space left for arrangement of your teeth? What would you do? This would guide you whether a bone reduction, overall bone reduction is required or not. That is what we call as creating a platform of bone all over your arch. Now, once these two reasons are known to you, what is the next step? The next step is sending the triangle to the technician and then the technician goes ahead and makes a putty index over this functional and aesthetic triangle and evaluates the amount of space which is available for the prosthesis and the type of prosthesis which is to be given. This can be done conventionally or digitally. If it is done digitally, you actually go ahead and superimpose your virtual teeth arrangement over the arches and evaluate the space available for your framework as well as the teeth on top. So was this piece of information useful to you? Do leave a comment and a like in the captions. Let me know what your thoughts are. Yet again, I quote an article this time by Dr. Tunkiwala, Kher and Bijlani describing the restorative option of choice in different interarch spaces available. It's a good guideline once you have all these steps of complete dentures in place before planning for a full arch implant treatment. Next, we meet in August in Mumbai, Thane for our next comprehensive removable prosthodontics. This time we have a three day action in removable prosthodontics. The third day is going to be devoted on overdentures, both tooth supported and implant supported overdentures. And how do we go ahead and plan these overdentures when you have a fixed vertical dimension or a restricted vertical dimension? Whether you go for an overdenture or not, that's the question which we are going to answer on our third day this time. See you there. Until then, peace.